question is to find the sums of infinite geometric series. The formula is given over here. The sum of infinite geometric series. What does this mean? Imagine you have half, one fourth, you know, and one by eight, one by sixteen, and keeps on going. It keeps on going forever, right? But still, you can find its sum using this formula. But technically, it goes until infinity, right? How can you add till infinity? So imagine you have a piece of cake, like say maybe one kg cake. You cut into half; it's half kg now. You cut again half; it'll be quarter. How many times you can keep on dividing into half? It'll be one twenty-five grams. You know, less, less, less. You can cut into infinite pieces, isn't it? So infinitely you can cut this. But you know, the total sum will always be equal to one because that was a one kg cake. So that's the thing. Now all you need to do is use this formula. The first term, whatever is the first term, you just put it up. One minus r. Simple formula. But very important that r must be less than one. If r is more than one, that means it's increasing. So now imagine you have two, four, six, eight. It keeps on increasing till, sorry, two, four, eight, sixteen. You're multiplying. You know. R is something more. It becomes multiplication and keeps on going till infinity. You can't track it down. You can't find its sum. Whereas if it goes less, say 0.5, 0.25, 0.125, 0.125, and then you can add all the sums. So we will look into the problems here. First step: you need to find R for all the terms like this. Just find R. Second term: 21 divided by 20. Divided by seven, divided by five, or it's easier to write like this: five divided by two, the whole fraction symbol divided by fifteen, divided by four. You can solve it, you know, try uh, try solving it over here, but it's better to use calculator; saves a lot of time. Now, when you're typing in the calculator, it's up to you. You can use the fraction again up over here, like twenty-one. So it's twenty-one divided by twenty, and then over here again use the fraction, and it will be seven divided by five. And the answer is three fourth. Or, what I would generally uh, suggest is because this is less confusing, twenty one divided by twenty, and over here you have seven divided by five because the fraction means divided by. The answer will be the same. Now the answer over here is three fourth. So what do you do now? Write the sum formula: a one by one minus r. A one is seven divided by five. One minus three fourth. That is one fourth. You can put that entirely in the calculator. It is seven divided by five over here. It's one minus three fourth, zero point seven five, or you can write three fourth. So the answer is twenty eight by five. You can see that's the answer. Same thing over here. You can do it by yourselves now. Let's quickly do this. Five divided by two. That's two point five divided by fifteen divided by four. It's two thirds. Now all you need to do is fifteen divided by four, one minus two thirds, two fraction. When you're writing one minus, write it like this itself. It's much better. So answer is forty-five by four. Similarly, please do try these. Now here, remember it's negative, but doesn't matter. When you're finding the r, four divided by three, and over here it is sixteen divided by nine. But don't forget the sign minus. It's negative three fourth, but is it le uh, is r value less than z? Uh, you know magnitude of it is it less than one? Yes, three fourth is less than one, so you can you can find the sum that is over here minus sixteen divided by nine and over here one minus. I can use the answer because the r value is saved over there. The answer is negative sixty four by sixty three. Similarly, you can do this. Uh, Over here, it's 2.5. I think so. Yeah, there is no sum. Why? Because this is a very small number. You know, I mean, not very small. It's less than 2.5. This is 2.5. Just do it over here. See, 5 divided by 2, 15 divided by 8. So this value is more than one. If you, if it's more than one, there is no way you can find the sum. Even because the formula exists only for r values less than. Uh, r value is less than one, right? So if you try even over here, fifteen divided by eight, one minus the answer. Now don't think this is the correct answer. No, this is wrong. Here you're getting some answer because you put the r value yes, 
but this is not the accurate answer okay you should ignore this this will go to infinity no sum exists so first you need to find r let's find r over here as well it is 7 divided by 4 and over here it's 21 divided by 6 here the r value is 21 divided by 16 if it was 0 0.5 yes there was there was sum but here it's 1.33 whereas over here if you try 12 divided by 7 and over here it's 18 divided by 7 and I forgot the negative sign the answer is 0 0.666 uh, that's fine you can use it that is the end of this question i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments i hope you all will head on to the next video